So what I want to do now is I want to show you guys how to do a multiple image layout. What we're going to end up doing is we are going to size a diptych. Uh, you could also, and that's two images. You could also do a triptych, which is three images. But what I want to do is I want to size that on a predetermined sort of piece of paper. And so the paper size that I'm going to do is 13 by 19, but we'll get to that in a second. So I've got these two images. They are both unedited in Lightroom. And what I'm going to do is I've got them both highlighted in my film strip. And so from my str film strip, I'm going to grab them and I'm going to open them up uh, in the Photoshop icon. So I'm going to drag them into Photoshop. That's okay. So I've got these two images. They're both selected. I'm going to drag them into the Photoshop icon. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make my final edits on things. Um, both of these are... Uh, sort of edited how I want them to be edited. Maybe I'm going to drop the, open up the blacks on this, maybe make this a little more contrasty. Um, I'm going to shift click so that they're both selected. Now I'm going to open them as smart objects. I'm going to use that smart object workflow. You could open these up uh, in a non-smart object. I've just got them set up as smart objects. So what I want to do now is I want to go into image, image size, and you will see here that I have um, a 12 by 18 inch image at 300 DPI. I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to write that down, uh, the resolution of 300 DPI and that image size. Um, so once I have the dimensions, I'm going to say OK. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File, New. And the piece of paper that I have that I want to print these on is a 13 by 19 inch piece of paper. So the width is 19, the height is 13, and then my resolution for this, I'm going to use the resolution that my image is at, which is 300 dpi. Um, RGB color, these are both 16 bit, and then um, I opened it up in the Pro Photo color space, so I'm going to keep that pro photo RGB space. So I'm going to go ahead and hit create. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of see that I'm going to lay these out on the horizontal, um, like I'm going to lay these out sort of like uh, on this horizontal page sort of vertically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to think that if my height is 13 inches, I'm going to go in and I'm going to go to image image size. image, and then I'm going to go to image size. And now what I'm going to do is the height of my image, I'm actually going to go ahead and make 12. And I'm going to go ahead and keep the resolution at 300 because that's that sort of size of piece of paper that I'm going to do. So I'm going to do that for this picture. And I'm going to go in um, and actually I'm going to rotate this image. I'm going to do something a little um, fun. I'm going to actually rotate this counterclockwise because I want this to kind of be upside down. I'm going to go to image, image size, and I'm going to make that the same height. So both images are now 8 by 12 at 300 uh, pixels per inch. And now I've got this blank piece of paper because again my paper size is going to be that. Um, both the bit depth, the resolution, and the color space are all the same on this piece of paper or this file as it is in this file and this file. So now it's actually pretty simple. I'm going to take the move tool. I'm going to grab my image in the image area here. I'm going to take it up to this tab, wait for it to switch over to untitled one, and then I'm going to drop it into the page. I could also press and hold shift and that would sort of drop it into the center, but I'm going to use my snap and I'm going to drop that in. I'm now going to go to this image, and I'll show you by holding shift what's going to happen. I'm going to go into it, untitled one, press and hold shift, and you see how that drops completely in the center? So now what I can do is I can line these up together. And if I want to, I can draw this in the middle, and now I've got uh, 9.5, which is uh, half of 19. So that's my center line. And look, I've now got a, you know, relatively centered uh, diptych that I can use and print two images on one piece of paper in Photoshop. 
uh, pretty straightforward, pretty handy. Um, again, you can do this with multiple images. You could resize this multiple different ways.